You were saying, uh, in the last time you were saying we, we, we a lot, and I didn't get to clarify, you are, you are dating uh, a, a younger man. Uh, by some measure, yeah. By some measure, a younger man. Do you <laughs> like have... age. Yeah. yeah like that measure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the measure of age, he would yes, be considered yes. younger. Yes. Uh, do you notice that there are ever uh, like generational gaps between you and... Sometimes. Well, first I noticed that any time they, they, they mention our ages online, he seems to get younger. Online, like right. he's in, in real life. I'll, I'll go on record now. He'll be thrilled uh, that I'll let people know he's actually 26. Right. Uh, but online, he's like 24, 23. I'm like, mm, and then I'm gonna be like 50 or something. I mean, it's <laughs> really bizarre. They but, keep adding years yeah, to you. Yeah, basically, they're like the 60-year-old uh, Baron. Uh, is, is, <laughs> um, there are some generational gaps, but you know, mostly we're in sync. But every now and again, we'll come up against it. We were on vacation recently, and you know, there, there's certain things that are considered pretty much universal gay viewing, and Beaches, the film, is one of them, and so... <laughs> you can't really be gay and not watch Beaches, yeah. so... Yeah. Uh, we were on My our way to film. vacation, and we decided to play at the same time on our little televisions, the movie, so right. that he could watch it for the first time, and I, of course, have seen it, and, and was thrilled to be were able to play. You guys on a them. plane or something? We were on a plane. Oh, you're yeah. on a plane? Oh, I see, you're yeah. on a plane, and you, get, you got like a press play at the, play same, at the exact time same time in our little it. seat, so we could watch it simultaneously. And by the end, he was literally racked with sobs. Like, he was just, like, heaving. I mean, sometimes the altitude will do that, too, but the, the stewardess came up and was like, can I get you anything? Like, dude, he was just like, no, just leave me alone. <laughs> That's so it nice works. that you could make him so miserable. Yeah. Uh, what about when it comes to music? I find that to be, like, sometimes there's a, a song that comes on the radio and I crank it, yeah. and, my, you know, my kids are just like, what, the, what are you doing? That's really, yeah. I mean, I, I would say that my musical tastes are probably much more current than they would would be. I know, I know a lot of the artists of the moment that I might not know otherwise. I'm not a huge like pop music. I'm very content with like, give me some Cat Stevens, give me some, you know, Simon and Garfunkel, Johnny right. Mitchell, old school, like right. where it all began. Like that's how I learned, you know. So now I'm like Fetty Wap and like, what's up? You know, like, <laughs> out, I'm down with the kids. Yeah, right? I mean, it's good, good yeah. stuff. I can't get away with um, saying that. Uh, <laughs> people just laugh and throw stones at me. Um, <laughs> Now, you've done a lot of theater, I know. I, you're going to do some more theater, is that right? You're going back to the stage? I am going, is someone's cricket phone going there off? Is there? someone's cricket phone. I see you well, getting it out of your bag, cricket. girl. You better, yeah, someone's getting their phone. You better <laughs> answer that phone call. That hardly ever happened. Uh, well, it's funny that you should mention the theater as this I'm is glad that you didn't because... hear crickets during my monologue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been particularly, that's what I hear in my head when a joke doesn't work, is greet, 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 greet. <laughs> All right, Deep well, they're settling there. that problem. Deep it's just one of those nights. But There's DVDs on the floor. I get it. But People this are eating funyuns in the, the aisle. This is the funny thing about, uh, about the theater, though, when you're doing a play. Like, you know, you never know what's going to happen in the audience, and uh, you, you really have to roll with things like that all the time. I was, I was seeing a play years ago, uh, this amazing play called God of Carnage in New York, and mm -hmm. uh, the woman next to me in the middle of, like, maybe 15 minutes into the show just reaches under her seat, and pulls out a Starbucks, you know, coffee, and then goes back under the seat and pulls out a Starbucks pastry bag <laughs> made of paper mm -hmm. and r rustles through the paper and gets out like a croissant and like gives her husband half of a donut and then goes under the seat and gets out a box of red vines <laughs> and gives her husband a box of red vines, at which point I felt obliged to lean over and be like, this is not the movies. Like you're not, the, they can hear you. <laughs> You don't, it's, so it's a very fascinating uh, uh, thing that you have to kind of cultivate the balance of being able to roll with it when shit like that happens. You do think that like there are people that would almost set up a hot plate and start making... <laughs> if there were outlets in the chairs... Yeah, I, making I omelets and stuff and like it. just watching this incredibly powerful it. scene in the theater yeah. and... Death of a salesman while they're flipping their... <laughs> yeah. But I am going to do... Uh, I did a play a couple of seasons ago on Broadway, The Glass Menagerie, and... Yes. Uh, I'm going back to uh, the theater in the beginning of 2016 uh, at the MCC Theater at the Lucille Lortel Off-Broadway to do a new play called Smokefall, uh, which I'm really excited about. It's a beautiful new play by a playwright called Noah Heidel. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, it's great to be able to go. Now I live in New York, so it's great to be able to be home and working and doing something that I feel really excited about. So I'm looking That's forward fantastic. to that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I know you're a busy guy. Thank you so much oh, for taking the time uh, for to me, be man. with us. Uh, I really do like yeah. this fellow. Zachary Quinto, we'll be right back. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to click subscribe to see even more great Conan clips. You may now return to your pirated movies and creepy Japanese pornography.